Several ATV riders say they've seen unusual looking creatures in the distance. Oh man, look at him. He's very alienish. The creature you're about to see has captivated the minds of ufologists and pathologists alike. Alien creatures, unknown species, and frightening encounters. This is what defines beaches now. If you happen to have any doubt, then dive along with us for this thrilling journey, revealing what the ocean hides inside to leave you shocked. Creepy Creature Watch this strange video from May 2022. It's about a weird creature crawling on a house wall near Ozark Lake. It's like nothing I've seen before. Its body seems to move like it's breathing from different spots, and its legs look more like stretched out parts of its body. It's kind of like a moving slab of cow fat coming to life. Some people think it might be like a zombie placenta looking for its next victim, but no one is sure for certain. Well, whatever it is, it's definitely creepy. Humanoid Baby while people in Australia are used to finding strange fish at beaches, one day they spotted the strangest thing. It looked like a tiny person covered in slimy stuff. The more they looked, the more surprised they became, because this creature was breathing and moving a little. Scientists took it for a closer look, but even after a few years, they couldn't figure out what it was or where it came from. The mystery creature kept its secrets, and people in the area couldn't stop wondering about it. The beach became famous for this weird discovery, leaving everyone with lots of questions and no clear answers. Magna Pinna Squid The big fin squid is a fascinating creature that lives deep in the ocean. It's like a squiddy looking thing. Uh, big fin squid. It has long arms which help it to catch food in the dark depths. Big fin squid are found deep in the ocean. They stretch out their arms like an umbrella while swimming. These squids also have two fins on their bodies that help them move around in the water. Hardly captured by scientists, they are still struggling to understand their features. Their rare occurrence makes people even more curious to learn about these mysterious creatures that call the ocean's depths home. Octopus Under Cone a person strolling on the beach noticed the cone moving by itself. He went closer to take a closer look and found the octopus stuck inside. This clever octopus, instead of hiding in a usual spot, chose to fit into a cone. The man quickly helped the octopus by taking off the cone, and it crawled back into the water. It's actually due to their beak. Octopuses exhibit a unique feature of navigating through confined spaces. Let it be a jar or a coat, they'll fit through anything in which their beak fits. Color Swapping Squid If you want a squid to change color from bright red to sandy gray, here's a simple trick for you. All you need is one strong hit on its head. Squid hunters use this technique. They hit the squid, and in a quick moment, it goes from red to gray. The red color comes from a special pigment in their nerves. Squids have specialized pigment cells called chromatophores, which contain pigments that can expand or contract, allowing the squid to change its color rapidly. When a squid is hit on the head or experiences any sudden disturbance, it may activate its chromatophores as part of a defense mechanism. Mutated Fish In Indonesia, fishermen found a really strange creature. Initially, they believed it could be an unusual fish resembling a human face with a shark-like body. This creature got a lot of attention because it looked so spooky. Even though scientists checked it out, they didn't say much about what it really was. Some people think it could be a mutated mermaid left on the beach, while others think it might just be a fake thing someone left there. We still don't really know what it was, but surely a mystery that's got a lot of people talking. Sticky Octopus In Florida, a guy was filming his friend coming out of the water when suddenly they saw something crazy. <laughs> there was an octopus stuck to his friend's back, and the diver didn't even know it was there. He tried really hard to get it off, but it wouldn't let go. Finally, with some help, they managed to pull it off. <laughs> Oh, 
What a wild surprise! It just shows how curious and clingy these octopuses can be. <laughs> Huge jellyfish. In Rodeo Beach, California, there's a special kind of jellyfish called Rhizostoma that's typically found in British waters. What makes this jellyfish unique is its size. It's the biggest of its kind. Despite its formidable appearance, this jellyfish is only slightly venomous. While it might be harmful to small fish, its sting usually only causes a bit of irritation to humans. Unfortunately, there are only a few of its species left in the water, so if you do happen to come across it, consider yourself lucky to see such a rare creature. Mysterious Fish in this video, there's a pretty creature moving gracefully under the Russian ice. Scientist Alexander Simonov filmed it during a 2018 White Sea expedition. They call it the Sea Angel because it floats beautifully in the dark, glowing waters under the icy surface. Its unique colors are what make it a treat for the eyes. But that's not all. It has ears resembling Batman and wings like an angel making it seem like a guardian of the deep. Watching this creature glide through the water feels like seeing something magical, reminding us of all the amazing things under the sea. Oarfish. This unusual kind of fish is called the sea serpent or oarfish. According to some people, it signals trouble. Which means if one is found ashore, it's indicating an approaching hurricane or storm. Recently, one was found near Mexico, and it scared the local people. Like it's junior high, like the fish was flapping on the water surface and was about two meters long. People believe it might have come to the shore because of the ground shaking in the area. Another oarfish found near Catalina's coast may have eaten too much and passed away. Scientists found lots of tiny krillfish inside its belly. These oarfish stories make people curious and a bit worried. Dolphin in trouble. A dolphin got caught in a fishing net and ended up on a California beach with its mouth stuck tight. It needed help, so people on the beach tried to save it and worked together to keep it alive. It was hard to rescue it, but finally, with the tools they had, they managed to cut the net and set the poor dolphin free so it could swim back into the ocean safe and sound. It's a reminder of how important it is to help animals, especially when they're in trouble, because of things like fishing nets. Jellyfish Beach. This man is poking a jellyfish, AKA the yolk fish. Yeah, that's the name it's given due to its striking resemblance to an egg yolk. They can be found in various parts of the world's oceans, typically in colder waters such as those of the Pacific and Arctic regions. Despite their striking appearance, egg yolk jellyfish are generally harmless to humans, possessing only a mild sting. Grounded Fish Batfish are fish found in warm waters around the world. They have a unique look with flat bodies and big fins that look like wings, which help them swim gracefully. Batfish come in many colors like red, yellow, and brown, making them pretty to look at. They live in coral reefs and rocky areas, and they can change color to blend in with their surroundings. They usually hang out in small groups and eat small fish and plants. Even though they're not used for food, people like to keep them in aquariums because they're so interesting to watch. Moving Shell This moving shell isn't mythical. It's a rare sea creature known as a nautilus. They are very old animals that have shells shaped like spirals. These creatures hide inside their shells like other sea animals. Instead, they use them to float and stay safe. They are active at night and hunt for food in the dark ocean. Sadly, they are in danger because people catch them for their beautiful shells. It's important to protect them so they can keep living in our oceans for a long time to come. Pufferfish Once, a man was fishing by the beach and caught a fish in his net. But then something strange happened. That fish puffed up like a balloon. It was actually a pufferfish. It went from being flat to looking all big and round in just moments. 
The fish managed to slip out of the net, and when it felt safe, it went back to its normal shape. This is something puffer and porcupine fish do a lot. When they get scared, they bloat to look big and scary. It's their defense mechanism against predators. The diver who saw it wasn't too surprised, because it's a common trick these smart fish use to stay safe in the sea. Trapped Turtle A group of fishermen found a sea turtle struggling in the water. They pulled it out to see what was wrong. Turns out, the turtle was stuck in a fishing net. I have my Swiss army out. I have a moon cuchillo mejor todavía. They began to help the turtle by trying to cut the net. Although he had a wounded neck, it was doing just fine after a few moments. They gently removed the net, cleaned the wound, and sent him back to his home. Crab Army Most of the time, crabs live in a forest or an island, but once a year, they come back to the ocean to have babies. When they arrive, the crabs mate, and after that, the female crabs go to the shallow waters and release tiny clusters with about 10,000 eggs. When these eggs touch the water, they hatch into baby crabs that swim away. It's a great time in the crabs' lives when they return to the ocean to make sure the next generation can start. Orcas on Beach In this video, you can see one orca trying to catch a baby seal, and it eventually does. They act like serial hunters, moving in groups and always looking for food, especially juvenile seals. But here's something interesting. The orcas don't eat the prey right away. Even though they are the top hunters, they play with it for a bit. Once they're finished playing, it's time for the orcas to start their big meal. It's a unique and sometimes surprising thing these strong ocean creatures do when they're hunting. Shark on land. These fishermen found a smart way to catch big sharks easily. They do a simple trick, put bait fish in the water, wait on the beach, and when a huge shark gets caught in the bait, they pull it out of the water onto the land. It's a simple technique these fishermen use to catch sharks without going out into the deep sea. What do you guys think about this technique? Let me know in the comments. Shark Hunter Bird Not just us humans, but birds are really good at catching big fish too. Like this one time, there was an osprey who spotted a huge four meter long fish swimming in shallow water. The osprey quickly swooped down and grabbed the fish in its mouth in just a few seconds. Birds like this are very quick to catch fish. Like this other time, there was a white-tailed eagle that landed on the beach, then went into the water and came out with a really big fish. It's quite fascinating to observe birds catching fish while relaxing on the beach. 100-year-old fish. A fish that's been swimming in the Norwegian waters for more than 100 years. Even though it's over 150 years old, it has only just reached its midlife. Fishermen were surprised when they caught one of these massive creatures. It weighed an impressive 600 pounds and was longer than three grown men standing on each other's shoulders. But here's the kicker. Despite its long life, scientists hardly ever see these fish. So there's still a lot we don't know about them. It's like they're hiding their secrets deep down in the ocean, waiting for someone to discover them. Colorful Fins Watch this cool video from a diver in Mexico. It shows a creature with colorful fins like a rainbow. At first, it looks like it's walking on the ocean floor, but it's actually swimming. This beautiful creature is called a flying gurnard. When it gets excited, it spreads its wings, which is super cool to see. What's interesting is that it's a bit shy and hides until it's time to eat smaller fish. It's like a hidden treasure in the sea. Clown Frogfish Let's talk about the frogfishes, one of the coolest fishes out there. People also call them Antenarius multis. They are experts at hiding because they blend into their surroundings with their bumpy, colorful skin. And you know what? They're pretty chill, too. They prefer lounging on the ocean floor, waiting for food to come to them. But when they decide to move, they can walk on their fins. 
Also, their names are kind of funny, so it's hard not to like them. Frogfish are like the undercover agents of the sea. Sneaky, but super cool. Ocean Monster. Get ready to meet the scary creature of the ocean floor, the Bobbit Worm. It hides in the sand, waiting for prey with its big mouth wide open. When a fish comes close, it strikes super fast and catches it. What's scary about the Bobbit Worm is that it's a strong hunter with sharp jaws and bristles all over its body. So all the fishes crawling on the ocean floor better watch out for this sneaky worm. Vampire Squid. The video shows that the vampire squid has really big eyes, the biggest relative to its body size among all creatures. It might make you think of a scary predator lurking in the deep, but surprisingly, it's actually not a fearsome hunter. It feeds on tiny particles called marine snow, snagging them with its two long, sticky filaments. Even though its eyes look like they glow bright blue, they're actually clear like water. They only appear blue because of the lights from the ROV reflecting off the water's color, creating a beautiful blue effect. Sea Alien I saw this video from June 4th, 2021, and it shows this funky creature walking around on the ocean floor, as he got tentacles too, kinda like centipedes. After some research, I found out it's called a crinoid. It has long stalks and feathery arms, and lives in oceans all over the world, from shallow areas to deep waters. It's like ancient time travelers, being around for over 300 million years, and is actually a marine animal related to sea stars and sea urchins. Studying it helps scientists learn more about the history of life on our planet. Viperfish if you ever explore the deep sea, you might meet the Pacific Viperfish. During the day, it swims up to shallower areas for food, but at night, it heads back down deep. These little guys eat fish, crabs, plankton, and sometimes even bigger fish. They're one of the biggest in the Viperfish family, growing up to one foot long. But what's really cool is their shiny, dark, silver-blue fins and super dark skin helping them blend in deep down and watch out for their sharp jaws and teeth. They're serious. Scary Shark While exploring the deep sea, researchers found a chimera, also known as a ghost shark, that might have had parasites on it. These ancient deep sea fish are like sharks, but with rabbit-like eyes for seeing in the dark. Their tooth plates keep growing and look like those of rodents, so some people call them ratfish. Even though finding adult chimeras is new, studying how they grow is tough because they're hardly ever seen. Water Pumping Sponge This is literally one of the magics of nature. Water pumping sponges found deep in the ocean are unique organisms that can move water through their bodies. They have tiny channels and holes inside them. These sponges use remarkable cells with flagella to create currents and bring water inside. As the water passes through, the sponge takes in nutrients and oxygen and gets rid of waste, which helps to keep the ocean clean. But still, they're rare and we've a lot to learn about them yet, because studying the deep sea can be challenging. Strange Sunfish We all know that sunfish are deep dwellers. The same thing got fishermen worried when they spotted one floating in the water. They got worried, thinking it might be in trouble, and rushed to capture it. But to their surprise, the sunfish was just enjoying the sun. This super big sunfish, 3.2 meters long and 2.9 meters wide, was way too heavy, weighing more than 2,000 pounds. After a quick check, the fishermen put the sunfish back into the water, just a giant sea creature taking a break and having some fun in the sun on the surface. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows? We might even feature it in one of our videos. Beachgoers were in for a shock when they witnessed strange creatures emerging from the water without their heads and crawling with long tentacles. 
Even images of the creatures circulated the internet for about a month, sparking curiosity and fear. Some people labeled these bizarre-looking beings as sea monsters, and others called them aliens. However, when marine researchers examined the pictures, they uncovered the truth. Disappointingly, the creatures were not sea monsters or aliens, but rather aloe vera plants placed on the beach by photographers. The mystery was solved, revealing a case of mistaken identity that captured the imagination of beach visitors.